hi friends in this uh, lesson I'm gonna show you how you can create a business intelligence report for analysis in Oracle fusion cloud without any programming so this report in fact can be created by end users as well but people who are new to Oracle fusion cloud or who have got a background of Oracle eBusiness suite and they started learning Oracle fusion cloud I think this would be something that will appeal to them they can quickly make a report show it to the user and this could come handy in case wherein you don't have database access to Oracle Fusion database so you can also leverage this analysis using BI report creation for even analyzing your table columns and your transactions Having said that, I'm going to quickly go into Oracle Fusion Cloud instance and I'm going to create a BI report. So the example I'm going to give for demonstration is, you see, I'm going to simply pull out data for all the inventory organization created in the database. But using the same means and methods, you can leverage it to create BI report for setup or transactional data for any modules or offerings that have been installed in the database okay so let's go to fusion apps all right so here i am in oracle fusion applications so let me quickly show you the release and version of oracle fusion cloud instance we are in so you see we are presently in release 13 and version 21d of oracle fusion cloud applications which is uh, supposed to be the latest at the moment so I'm going to come out of this now coming back to the topic how to create the BI report for analysis in order to do that you have to first go under setup and maintenance so or in fact even if you don't go into setup and maintenance there is easy navigation to go about you can simply go to the hamburger menu and from here you navigate to tools and then you have something called as report and analytics so you click on that and this will lead you to this particular page for creation of a new report or a analysis report so you come here and click on create button and choose analysis okay here you see uh, there are a lot of subject areas over here so I'm gonna scroll down and look for a subject area possibly it would be by the name of inventory or you can search from here if you like so I'm gonna scroll down because I want you to see the subject areas which you can see right from the screen so it's almost everything that has been installed in the fusion instance so here you can see the inventory can you see that you have the inventory and here you see you have something called as inventory organization real time so I'm gonna choose this like this okay and then I will go on to the top and click on continue button and here I'm gonna expand this and then I will uh, expand inventory organization and from here you see I'm gonna choose a number of things such as uh, say inventory organization code and then I would say inventory organization name and uh, then I would say maybe I would look for the master inventory organization code and the master inventory organization name and uh, then I would look for say associated legal entity if you like or uh, maybe inventory organization type okay there are various other columns out here and you can choose anything as you like and um, maybe I would say um, inventory organization maybe country okay now after you select all this say for example if you want to move the columns say this inventory organization type should be coming on top so I can move using the right hand side you can see the arrow keys over here so I can use that to move it upwards 
or downwards. So this was downwards, this was upwards. So I'm going to move it to the top, organization type. Then I have inventory organization code, organization name, then master inventory organization code, master inventory organization name, and finally inventory organization country. Okay. So this ideally should also be coming next to the inventory organization details and then lastly the master inventory organization again this is for demo purposes and you can use it any subject area and uh, you can also pull out the transactions within the database for example you can create a analysis report for analyzing the purchase orders and uh, up-to-date details of your purchase order or maybe purchase orders who are active and uh, who belongs to a specific supplier so you can do all that over here now I'm going to click on next right and then here is the place wherein you can uh, give a title to your report so I would say inventory organization analysis okay any title and then this is a view that I wish to show so I would say show me a table uh, view a tabulated view and then if you want uh, if you have a transaction related stuff then you can also show a graphical view so let's say a purchase order or maybe sales order related transactions you want to show a graph to those transactions then you could use a graphical user interface and um, the recommended is bar but you can choose any other graphs it could be line area uh, pie graph and so on but I'm gonna leave the graph side at the moment that's not important for my particular usage at the moment and then the layout is table of graphs since we are not using them least bother about the graph part of things then I would say next and uh, the columns uh, uh, table layout will be shown under this uh, same way but you can uh, you can move the columns up and down using these arrow keys okay and uh, then you go next and you can put in a sort criteria how do you want to sort it so let's say sorted by inventory organization code okay and in ascending manner and then you can as well filter your criteria if you want to filter it for example there are thousands of transactions and you want to filter it then you can give a filter criteria over here okay now I don't have any filter criteria now so I'm gonna simply move on say if I have got many many transactions or many many inventory organization I can give a filter criteria that inventory organization name should be starting with some or maybe the code starting with something or maybe the inventory organization type should be a specific type say purchasing type or any uh, inventory organization type that you have defined while you're creating the inventory organization anyway at this moment I can view the transaction so you can see preview and you click on that it's gonna pull up all the transactions uh, or in in this particular case all the inventory organization from the database so as you could see it uh, now contains all the columns that we selected inventory organization type organization code organization name country uh, organization master on uh, organization code and the detail or the name of the master organization so having said that you see nothing is coming up for inventory organization type so I'm gonna simply remove this so how would I remove this if I go back like this I can always go back and remove that I don't want that I would say and uh, I've come over here and I would say take it off so it's gone you see then I'm gonna go next and again I'm gonna analyze my report and its layout and then I would say preview it and you see that column is gone now and you can see the details in a preview right so I think this looks pretty good as far as our demonstration is concerned here uh, you have also something called as a formatting so if you want to format your columns you can leverage this feature as well but I'm gonna skip that and go to the next one and here you can save your report by a name 
so i would say name of my report is inventory org analysis and maybe i give the same description over here then i want to save it in a specific folder say uh, report in my folders okay and once you're done then you hit the submit button so you see that uh, you got a confirmation analysis saved successfully and you hit the okay button and uh, that's it you see uh, and this is the place to create your new bi analysis report and that's the procedure now how would i see my report so you will see on the top you've got something called as my folders right you click on that all folders and within that you've got my folder and you click on my folder which is the place you have saved your uh, report you click on that and this is where our report is that's what we have done it i'm going to click on this hyperlink and this is where it's going to fetch the data in real time and to show you the output so as you could see this process is very handy and this process can be leveraged not only for your setup data but also all your transactional data you can choose from multiple offerings to create one report uh, which could be uh, something which will help you considerable time for customizing that report uh, using programming so this is is a procedure under which you have created a report without programming it's not only saving the development time but also going to save a lot of cost for the organization who is implementing